Today we have some interesting market news for the Pokemon card market, and uh, we're just going to dive straight into this. This is from uh, Poke Beach, and there's been other um, outlets reporting on this as well. Um, but they're reporting that GameStop is going to start buying and selling graded Pokemon cards. Now there are a few caveats, um, and we'll get that. It's like right here. We'll touch on that, and I'll tell you guys my my opinion on what this is actually going to mean. So initially, they are only going to take PSA eight cards and higher and no more than $500 um, and they will not be accepting CGC Becca or SGC or anything else so PSA only um, also it says that GameStop will begin selling Pokemon singles in stores they will launch with $1 hollows and reverse hollows and offer uh, other bundles of cards may be offered in the future so what exactly does this mean for uh, for everyone Okay, I'll tell you. First off, what this means for GameStop is, if you guys aren't familiar, GameStop has been struggling for quite a while. They had the big stock boom and the whole thing and all of that stuff, right? Um, and they've been struggling still. Um, but this, if, if you've ever sold a game to GameStop, they give you, like, unfortunately, they give you pretty low price. Like, they're going to give you, like... Five bucks for a game and then sell it for like 30 so they're like or something that's just an example sometimes it's like a dollar anyways um so i'm assuming that something similar is going to happen with these pokemon cards um gamestop already has an existing um connection with the pokemon company they have uh gamestop exclusive promos they get exclusive packs uh boxes and whatnot so um for gamestop this is actually a huge move i could see um, a lot of kids uh, taking advantage of this and unfortunately kind of getting ripped off, but that is what it is. Um, you know, their parents are going to have to sign a thing saying, you know, that they to trade in or sell or whatever. So, you know, that is the unfortunate part of GameStop in and of itself. But what, what could be a good thing if you want to look at it is this is going to introduce a lot of kids to the graded Pokemon card market. A lot of kids don't even know about graded cards and what that means, but they're going to start seeing them um, in the stores, and so that is just going to expand the realm of of uh, of collectors. So yeah, I think it overall it's a good move. Obviously, I don't think it'll be interesting. I'll be interested to see like what they're buying at. It's going to be probably bad. I would say at best fifty percent of value, like at best. But I could be wrong. They would be really smart to be competitive if they were if they came out and it was like 70%, 65 even of comps. Um, a lot of people might go to GameStop and sell your cards. I don't think you should do that, but you know there is. It's kind of like um, a little bit of having a uh, like a card show vendor um, close to you um, because a lot of people will offload. They want to sell a lot of cards to get one card that they want, and they'll sell it at much lower of a price so um i think this is going to be good for for pokemon cards overall i think it's gonna be really great for gamestop i don't think they can really go wrong um with that i think that's that's pretty huge for them honestly so um props to gamestop for that um this might be leading into i think the article said about um leagues for the tcg and stuff so um that could be good as well um good good for the the players and gamestop um they need all the help they can get honestly so um, for me personally, um, I'm not going to be selling any cards to GameStop unless it was like really like, yeah, they would never do it. It would never be worth it for me, but, um, I'll tell you what I will be doing when this launches. This is supposed to be like as early as next week. And I don't think at all locations, but I'm going to go into my local GameStop. I'm going to check it out, see what they have going on. Um, I was just on a little, uh, family vacation went across the U.S., and we did buy some Pokemon cards and rip some packs and stuff uh, with my brother. That was fun. Um, and we went into a GameStop. Um, they didn't have what we were looking for, and we left with nothing. But um, it would have been cool to look, see what they have. Um, so I think I think this is a huge step uh, in the really great direction for Pokemon, honestly. I think Pokemon gets the biggest W out of this. Because um, you're, you're just going to... And, and like, uh, eBay sellers investors flippers because whatever you want to call yourself collectors 
it's going to expose more more kids to graded cards um so and then once they learn about it they're going to want those tens and the market is going to expand even more because you know i have um my nephews and nieces are kind of into pokemon i try and like you know get them into it more um but they don't know anything about about graded cards yet and uh some of them are young but one of them's old enough and you know you never know he he uh i gave him a graded card he seemed to really like it so um we'll see i mean you never know what's going to happen so um yeah i just want to share that news with you guys uh let me know in the comments what you guys think like do you guys agree is this going to be is this going to be good or bad let me know um if you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed do me a huge favor just hit that subscribe button i greatly appreciate it i try and do daily videos i've been doing really good about every day whether it's a long form video like this or short um sometimes i'm doing a short and a long form on the same day um so yeah i'm just i'm really appreciative of you guys watching these videos and that's gonna do it for this one and remember it was never a phase